Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Passion Theory, where I share with you some of my passions. This one being crafting and making random crap out of random crap I find. So, today we are going to do a flip through of a little junk journal treasure book that I made out of a little golden book. Um, and this one is called The Golden Egg Book. And um, it's very pretty, um, very Eastery, but it says Easter nowhere in it. But it's got rabbits and, and little ducks and eggs and beautiful flowers. So it's great for all of you witchy peoples out there for celebrating your spring cel um, celebrations. Like Ostera and all that stuff too. Because inside the book it never says anything about Easter, which is great. Yay! Alright, so I will show you. I do keep the whole little golden book story inside the journal. And then I add some stuff for whoever gets the journal, to um, add things and stuff. Anyway, let's look at it. So here we go. We have some, um, this is vintage fabric. Lots of pretty ribbons that match the theme. We have a wooden star, this pretty dazzly bit, another dazzly bit. This right here, all these fun little doodads that hang off the side. Here is the original little golden book foil and everything. It is torn right here, but uh, it was torn in the original, so I just covered it up on the inside so it won't tear further. And uh, let's get into this. My cat is here because of course she is. Ah. <sighs> So, this is the backing paper I used. Pretty Monarchs, which are my favorite butterfly. Washi tape here to hold that seam down, and it's all glued in nicely. So see, I keep the whole, I keep the whole book and story in order, so you also have the book as well as the journal. Like, look at this. This is original to the story, this artwork, isn't it? Look at these trilliums. Oh, so beautiful. And I got some fun papers that kind of match the color and theme. And then some bunnies. Since this is all about bunnies, I have some... Uh, this book is from an old book, a vintage book about rabbits that was falling apart. And uh, I got it for like 25 cents. And then I put it in journals like this. See? And here's the bunny. And all these like thistles and pretty flowers around the outside. And then more flower print paper, because of course, I glued on these flower print hearts. This one's flower print, but these purple hearts here onto the back to give it some stuff. This is also a cool old vintage book that I thought the colors went well. An old math book can find a new life in these little journals. Look at this one. This one has like gold gilding on the paper. So pretty. That's just the back end of that bunny book. And here's a little pocket I added on with more flowers. And you get a couple of these. You get a pressed flower and you get um, this is like a little tag. So you can add those wherever you want in the book. So you get a little pocket that I made for you. Or not for you, but for the people who want the book. Um, and this is up in my Etsy shop or on eBay if you want to follow the links. It's got some vines and flowers all over it. So that's the first signature that has the first half of the book. The middle signature has none of the story in it. So it's just uh, papers, spring tone papers, and 
flower papers and all that. More bunnies. Oh, and right here, there's a little bunny charm in the middle. Middle signature has a charm. And here is a little belly band for you to tuck things in. Right, and then here's the second half of the book. You can pause and read the book if you want to. I suppose more bunnies. And here's a little corner tuck pocket for you. I saw this paper was so pretty. Oh, and a little chicken, I mean duck. The little duck is hatching. And here is an envelope for you to keep things in. Like, look at the flowers around the edge of this. This book is so pretty. Oof, bunnies. More bunnies. Cute bunnies. That's all. So if you're interested in that one, then uh, yeah, if it's still there, it'll be down in my um, Etsy shop. Um, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye for now.